Hello officials, welcome back to this channel, and if you're new here, I'm Lewis, and this is officially Lewis, and yes, my voice is a little bad today, I fell under the weather, and that's why this video is a little bit delayed, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, here we are. But before we get started into this whole video, I do want to talk about something serious, and as a lot of y'all know, Marcel Williams was executed on Thursday, and honestly, honestly, I, I've been meaning to talk about this, but like I said, I've been sick. So now that I'm like somewhat better and able to talk now, I really wanted to talk about this because this was horrible. This this is honestly horrible. And the fact that uh, I, I can't even talk about it for real. I'm just really honestly disappointed. That I can't really say anything that hasn't been said already. So honestly, in all honesty, uh, just America do better. That's that's all I can say. It's not even Americans. I'm sorry. Let me not bring y'all into this because that petition had over millions of signatures mine was included my friends was included like my family was included like all the all these signatures to get that man out of out of that cell to get him from getting that death not yet yeah, a death on sentence meant nothing and that's that that honestly breaks my heart and honestly i don't i don't even know who to say at this point because millions of people try to get that man out and really it was uh i forgot who but the person who has a say in all this it was really them who ignored it. They legit looked at our petition and said, so that's legit what it was. And honestly, I hate it. I honestly hate it. And I my heart goes out to Marcel Williams' family and grieving loved ones. I, I am so sorry to y'all. And I hope, I hope, I hope that America can do better. That's all I can really say. I mean, we Americans did our part. But we all know what part of America I'm talking about. But anyways, let's move on to today's video. Sorry about this. I just really need to talk about that real quick. <clears throat> okay, Kios. Uh, wait. <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, yeah. As y'all can see, we're going to be doing part two to redesigning Garden of Bam Bam characters. But let's just go ahead and go through the um, characters we designed so far. So, first we have Bam Bandit. And yes, as y'all can see, I made him a bunny. I did not know that he was supposed to be a devil. Me personally, if I found out that my kid, like the kindergarten mascot was the devil, oh, you would have saw me turn my ass around and took my child out that school because what the fuck? But you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, for real, for real. Um, we got Bam Bandit. Yeah, Bam Bandit. I know his name was Bam Bam, but I called him Bam Bandit. I mean, like, come on, come on. It's adorable. Anyways, so we have Bam Bandit, the mascot and the party goer. Then we have Bambolina, the, you know, teacher. Te the, yeah, she's the teacher. And then we have Ophelia. Oh my goodness, the caretaker. And honestly, before we get into the actual, like, characters we're going to be doing yet, I feel like I should go through each one and what their role would be in this redesign. So obviously we have Bam Bandit. He's the one who has to, he, I guess, like, yeah, that's the point you're going in there is to find your child, right? So I guess he's the one who, like, he's the final boss. He's the one who has your child and all that. So, yeah. But um, first you, like, you will go through. We, I can't say too much because it's going to spoil the, uh, this, uh, what you call it, the, it's going to spoil what's coming up and all that <laughs> but we have obviously bambolina she's the teacher she you'll be doing the whole like teacher stuff right there and then we have ophelia and her kindergarten like it's like those their roles are still the same um if i do decide to make a layout of the school of what this redesign would look like because let's be honest let's be realistic ain't no way that there's that underground facility now nah, i mean they could there could be but the way that they're doing it, ain't no way that there that there's a underground facility like that. So I mean, let's let's be realistic now. Let's be let's be logical. Let's be realistic. But you know, <laughs> uh, but overall, yeah. So actually, I'll, I feel like at the end, I'll go through each of the roles and how they'll play. But anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and jump right into this. All right, y'all. So the first person we're gonna be doing is Stinger Flynn. And from what I gathered, like, okay, look, let's be honest. Garden of Bam Bam is just, they, they, they know that they know that their, <laughs> that their thing is a joke. Cause like, tell me why I was recently watching when they're like watching, uh, what's his name? Cup Scouts play the game. And why was Choo, why was Choo Choo Charles in it? Like the way I was like, okay, so this game is so unserious. This game is so unserious, bro. <laughs> 
but from what I gather, Stinger Flynn is usually like the more mature and calm, not calm, but like more logic, logical one, or he's seen like more the leader kind of, not like obviously we know Bam Bandit is the leader, but he seems like more the mature one, so I was like, okay, let's go with that, so I decided to give him the role as the principal of the um, kindergarten, right, and not only the, pri no, no, not, not principal, I'm sorry, correction, guidance counselor, the guidance counselor so yeah that's who stinger stinger flynn is he's the guidance counselor he's more mature i i can't like actually i'll let y'all decide if he should be like the principal or the guidance counselor i can't i can't decide between the two but yeah i decided to give him a little a nice little old mustache got him like looking all mature high key i thought he was the monopoly man like just by the look of, just by the way he looks <laughs> like he got the umbrella and the hat and the mustache i mean so he got the mustache and the hat oh i, I was gonna put a molecule uh, like the or monocle or whatever you call those little like circle glasses thing that goes on one of your eyes I was gonna put that on him and honestly <laughs> it would have just been on his one eye. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't mean to laugh at that but yeah so yeah that's what I got <laughs> that's what I got for him and it's honestly I, I love it I do love it I do love it um I do like how I got his like stances like he's turned around multiple times to like you know get that Per, like curly stance on i don't know but like it just let's just take a moment of silence to look at the actual character model for him and honestly that it, it, this could have been a good horror game just with that character design but it's so unserious it is so unserious <laughs> but yeah that's that's my stinger flynn design and now let me know what y'all think of him let me know what you think of his role he's legit just the goddess counselor he and we'll get into like what his actual role in the actual game will be but yeah that's what i got for senior flynn let me know what y'all think of him down below i was thinking about it and honestly how like i was thinking about like how he will even incorporate into the levels and i feel like like during his level he can be like like slithering around or something like and he'll be like slowly creeping towards you if that makes sense and trying to get you and stuff like you y'all know what i mean like so he'd be trying to kind of get you he'd be asking you questions like you know how guidance counselors be asking you and stuff just ask you all these questions and i think that he i think that's how he can incorporate to the level maybe like you know just like how have you been and if you answer good he will slur the like he will slither away from you but if you answer wrongly he will slither close to you so it's like it's basically like a negative or a positive reaction and that's how you get past his level all right y'all so when it comes to toadster oh my goodness my voice <laughs> but when um when it comes to toadster honestly i love i love how he ended up turning out he's honestly my out of all the designs he's one of my favorites he's one of my favorites so obviously as y'all can see in the bottom corner i'm putting him in this sheriff's outfit i really love how i really love how it looks it looks ah, it looks makes him look like a good sheriff and i did give him like a more cartoony s5 because let's be honest that smile is crazy that's a mean ass smile <laughs> but I, I still kept a smile i still as you can see i just still kept a smile i wanted to give him that more roundy feel like if you like search up any cartoon pictures of um of sheriffs and stuff they always give them that little belly with them little stick legs so i wanted to give him that so bad so i did that and overall i really love how he ended up turning out now when we talk about his actual incorporate incorporate yeah incorp uh what you call it um <clears throat> I'm sorry, but like I said, I'm still coming off of sickness. My brain ain't here yet. <laughs> but if we talk about how we're going to incorporate him into the actual main game, we're going to actually add, like, he's going to be, like, the mainly the hall monitor. That's basically what he can be. Like, he's just going, not the hall monitor, but, like, he's going to be strolling the halls and stuff. And if he catches you, obviously, it's a game over. So you have to move throughout the halls, the different classrooms, just strategically, and try your hardest not to get, obviously, caught. And I think that's like a good, I think it's a, a good um, incorporation of Mr. Uh, Sheriff Toaster. And I feel like that in his office, right? His office should be like a little like mini jail cell. Like it's basically obviously timeout, but like make it like nice decorated and make it look like a whole nice jail cell and stuff. And like you have to go into the sheriff's office to get the key badge or something. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I could really go ahead and, <clears throat> oh my goodness. I could really go ahead and actually try to imagine like i if y'all really want me to i can make a whole separate video talking about the game mechanics and how it will it will how my redesign will work i would gladly make that video because i love designing games if y'all haven't if y'all don't know i was actually i'm still designing it's on the background now 
but I'm actually designing with my partner, not partner as in relationship, I'm, I, bro, I, I'm over here rambling at this point, but I'm actually designing a game with my friend, my best friend, and I'll leave the link to the video down below, so if y'all want to check that out, y'all can, but yeah, I love, I love making games, and Honestly, honestly, I will, if y'all want me to, I'll make that whole entire video of me explaining the game mechanics, and I don't mind doing that. I will gladly do it. <laughs> but overall, 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 that's basically how Toaster will work. And like I said, if y'all want me to make a whole video of me explaining the game mechanics, let me know, and I will gladly do so. I will gladly do so. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's look at this design. Oh, also, I also I for completely forgot I did this. I added the little glasses, and he looks so good with the glasses. Oh, I love it. I love the glasses. I love the glasses. It got them the them classic, you know, the classic um glasses. Now I couldn't figure out where to place them. I'm like, oh, hold you. I couldn't figure out where to place them. But yeah. All right, y'all. So now we have to start the whole show, which is Jumbo Jaws. Now I got a couple of responses, like a couple of comments, trying to uh, asking to make to make him a gorilla. Or I think it was what I, I'm going to have to pop up on the screen. I'm gonna go back because I think somebody actually suggested for Jumbo Josh to be a gorilla or a monkey. And I, I was like, you know, that is a good idea. Cause like, as I was going through like I, like the research on Jumbo Josh, trying to see what people did of him already. I could not figure out for the life of me. I was trying to figure out. Cause like originally I was going to make him a chef, but then I saw like that one guy did him. I was like, oh, he already did a chef. So I was like, okay, cool. What about if I make him a security guard? But then I was like, wait, I have sheriff. Sheriff told story, so it wouldn't make sense for him to be a sheriff, sheriff, right? But so I was thinking about his actual physique. I was think, I was thinking of his actual physique. I was like, okay, so let's think about it. He he's giving off a gym teacher, and I was like, let's go with it. Let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. He's the, he's the gym teacher. <laughs> he's the gym. He's the, he's the coach or gym or whatever. So that's why I decided to make him. And honestly, I feel like his level, his level, honestly, will be the most fun one because it's in the gym. It, it's in the gym, and. Bro, I I honestly feel like, I honestly feel like that'll be the most fun. Cause like he would probably put you through a whole bunch of tests or stuff, or you probably have to go like, like go around in the playpen or something. Like I don't know how that would work. Like I said, if y'all want me to make a video going through all the mechanics or the like the actual, what you call it, um, le not legit, uh, the uh, game mechanics. Sorry, if y'all want me to go through all the game mechanics, let me know, and I would gladly. And I mean, I would gladly do it. But yeah, that's that's like you know that's <laughs> jumbo. Sh oh yeah, also this part of the recording, I I, I kind of forgot to record. So yeah, y yeah, yeah. <laughs> but overall, I really love how he turned out. And let's go ahead and talk about the final products. All right, y'all. So yeah, now we're at the finally at the end of the video. Honestly, before we even get into the actual like you know talking about this video i do really want to say thank y'all for sticking to to the end especially with my sick sick voice thank y'all so much for staying to the end staying staying tuned to the end i really appreciate it but yeah these are the designs and honestly i really love them i love them now i was going to like talk about each person's role at the end of this but i'm gonna have to leave that up to y'all if y'all would like to see me like break down the game mechanics of my version of this redesign of Garden of Ban Ban. So definitely let me know how if y'all would like to see that. And definitely check out the gaming video I have down below of when I worked on, not when, I'm still working on it, but like of me working on this game with my partner, not partner. I keep saying it, I keep saying partner, but like partner is used for, you know, like relationships. No, no, no. My best friend, sorry. My, I, I worked on this with my best friend so if y'all want to go ahead and check check that out go ahead and check it out but anyways with that being said thank y'all so much for watching and honestly just thank y'all just really thank y'all but yeah with that being said I'm gonna catch y'all later and oh, I hope y'all have a good day I'm gonna go back to sleep cause I need to, I need to rest and sick this off <laughs> anyways I'm gonna catch y'all later bye